So we just torque this side down. Okay. You got the other one? The other one. Okay. Yeah. So what do, what do we have? What do we have here? Uh, these are uh, comments. Oh. 2008, what is it? 13? 13. Uh, yeah, we're doing a Kingpin. This truck right here. It has the Volvo Kingpin. We have the OEM uh, Kingpin, sir. So let's just uh, go back a little bit. He came back with, uh, he knew he had to have uh, the kingpin done. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so came in, we started taking it apart, and um, long story short, how, was the, how are the tires? A little bit, so that means he switched them before. Yeah. Usually, uh, it's nice to come with the messed up tires to do the kingpins, just to see the wear. The wear on them, yeah, exactly. And then switch the tires for new ones, so. Uh, so, what? tell me what happened here. So, Volvo had, uh, they didn't have any of the bearings in stock. They only had some aftermarket bearings in stock. We're like, alright, we'll give these a shot. Yeah. Uh, customer really needs a truck. Nobody in the area has a we went ahead and put the aftermarket bearing on there and it's just locking up on us. No plan to spin over. Whatsoever. Yeah. And it's not even torqued down the specs yet. We're like at 450 and it has to be torqued down to between like 560 to 689. And it's it's already locked. Wow. So Rick, our manager, he was able to find some bearings. For Gary, Indiana, we had to drive out. That's crazy. For the, for the bearings, the OEM bearings. Put them in there. We got the other side done. That one, perfect. Okay. So uh, the problem is with the aftermarket bearings. They were just a little bit of a difference in size. Difference in size, yeah, right. They both have the same shims on them. Because these bearings under the race, there's a shim on there, and they're both the same. Okay. So I guess the conclusion is. Make sure when you do the kingpins, uh, you're not use the OEM. Yeah, correct. Parts and the bearings. Don't don't. The pin was OEM, but they didn't have the OEM ba uh, bearing kit, so we yeah. went with the aftermarket. That didn't work out. Yeah. Well, that's always like that goes with everything uh, aftermarket. It, there's always going to be. A, there's a risk. There's a risk in, for sure. In having that part be out of spec and and not working the way it should, the way it was designed, the way the that specific OE part, you know. Uh, was designed at the OE, the aftermarket ones. What I'm trying to say is, there's a reason they're cheaper. They're cheaper, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But still, I mean, I understand there's a reason why it's cheaper, but it shouldn't be locking up. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe just a bad run, you know? Yeah, production run or yeah, something. Correct. It happens. And then we got the other spindle just allowed with all the heaters. Okay, we're not gonna talk about which which part we use for the <laughs> aftermarket. That's what they offered us. They didn't have it in stock. And I believe it's just a bad run. Our first time using a uh, aftermarket for suspension work. Usually, we'll use aftermarket for like hood shocks yeah. or like hood latches. You can get away with stuff yeah. like that. We even went back to we used the uh, aftermarket shocks for a little bit that we weren't happy with and we went to a better brand not yeah. OE because we know you know OE gets it from a uh, manufacturer so we stepped up on a lot of them we're we're finding out they're just not lasting they're not holding up no. yeah. so this is the OE this is the OE bearing SKF okay. SKF is well known okay. regular yeah so, tape, so regular tape the aftermarket bearing. was uh, do you have the, the aftermarket one I have the box, but let me see. Looks like I, I this one is see. this one's bigger. Yeah. We could take a caliper to it, for sure. This is the SKF as well. The other one is uh, doesn't even say. It. Drove an hour and a half, one hour away from this. We send a we send a, our guy our to guy. go pick it up. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't nowhere in the area so that's also you're thinking about is 
we found the four stores. Nobody had anything yeah. in stock. Uh, are the parts in stock? You know, a lot of customers don't understand that it, you got to get the parts from somewhere. You know, and there is a big national back order on a lot of them. Oh yeah, the they had an issue with the suspension. Remember, they had like a recall yeah. seventeen. Maybe. Yeah. So awesome. Make sure when you look at your kingpins to get your OE bearings and avoid some headaches. All right. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, share, and we'll talk to you soon.